Okay. All right. I don't, hello, everybody. I hope everybody can hear me. Okay. A um, little minor adjustment up a little bit. I'm a little taller. Okay. Thank you. Well, I'm Alexi Allens. I'm an artist, and I had the wonderful privilege of painting Donald Trump on a million dollar bill. Here to talk about a number of things. Well, I think I'll start out with my little old thing that someone asked me about Milo. They said, What do you think? I said, Well, you know, he really knows how to walk his talk. And he left everybody speechless. Anyway, on to other things. I'm going to go with a what if. What if we lost our rights for freedom of speech? It goes way, way past that. Freedom of the arts. What about the speech on art? You lose your rights to create. You lose your rights to express. You lose your rights for your dream. You lose your rights. Period. Can you imagine? No artists in this world. Um, it's culture exists and grows as the expression of its art. I feel so driven today and a privilege to have come here and I was invited. Now, I didn't know United Liberty Coalition. I was introduced uh, at the Trump's rally by Dr. M. Dr. M, getting feedback. Yay. Um, Trying to boost you. Talk closer. Oh, talk closer? Okay. I'm going to get closer, guys. Uh, so that I went to the Trump rally, was introduced, and I found out about doing something to promote Donald Trump's painting, One in a Million, because I really believe in him as a leader. And also, I did a painting about the veterans, which I'll get into. But I feel today it's very important that I talk about the freedom of expression and art, because I've had personal experience. I came from California. I fled from California. I was involved in the Hollywood crowd, the glitterati, and all that. And when I did this painting of Donald Trump, my Hollywood crowd turned their backs on me. The celebrities and everybody that I knew went berserk. They said, you can't. You're an artist. You cannot be for Trump. And I said, I can't be for anybody else. He's someone I believe in. He comes from his heart. You can't buy him. He stands and believes and says what he needs to say, his style. Anyway, I was literally run out of there. I lost a lot of business. I had dinner one night in a restaurant with a film mogul, and I was afraid because he knows so many people in media. I broke the news to him. I said, I need to tell you, I did a painting of Donald Trump on a million dollar bill. The entire restaurant was full of people. Everybody stopped eating. As he slammed his fist down on the table, I thought he was going to hit me. And he says, you can't do that. And I said, well, I did it. And I said, I really believe in him. I'm sorry. You know, I said, think of me as Andy Warhol, whatever you have to do to calm down. I finally got him to calm down. But I'm telling you, I've had violent reactions, emails, threats, hate. I almost got jumped in Scottsdale handing out bumper stickers. I've been at his rallies. I had the privilege to meet Donald Trump after a rally at his hotel in the lobby in Las Vegas. And I asked him when we had pictures taken together, I said, what do you think of the painting? He stood back and he goes, I love it. He's a soft-spoken, nice gentleman, met his whole family, met the Secret Service, met all these different people of all nationalities. I asked a lot of questions about him personally. Hands down, not one bad word. Everybody loved him. He backs everybody. He takes care of what he says. He, wa he walks his talk, but in a, different, in a different way. Positive. I consider him the Mahatma Gandhi of our times. Be the change we want to see in the world. And I really feel that intolerance is itself a form of violence and an obstacle to the growth of a true spirit of freedom. And Mahatma Gandhi said that. Now, I have certain heroes in my life that I feel really are advocates for peace. I'm into peace. 
but I'm also into being protected. I love our veterans. And one reason I love Donald Trump is he wants to back the veterans. He doesn't want them to come back from a war, be wounded, and not get the service and the help at the hospitals and have to wait, wait in line, wait with that leg missing and everything else, not getting the financial support, not getting the hospitalization, not getting what they need. Are they kidding me? We got a president that's out there that believes in taking care of every one of these guys. Finally, and that's what inspired this painting. And the title of it is United We Stand, the five branches of military. Notice that there is a Navajo code talker on that. A lot of times, you know, we forget people who really participated. Then I've got two women in that painting. Women are also veterans, and a lot of times that is forgotten. I feel it's a real privilege to be able to speak out and have an opportunity and if you know, I'm one candle in a room lighting up and making a difference, I hope that I have impressed upon you about the what if we lose our freedoms, we have to stand up. Some people were scared today, terrified to come to this. I said, I'd be terrified not to. Losing my freedoms mean everything to me. I cannot lose my freedom to be an artist and paint Trump and stand up, even be threatened. I had to leave California. I came to Arizona. Second Amendment, everything else. They just hate it. Hollywood is totally against this. So I lost a lot of my clients and people. They've turned their backs. I'm an enemy now. Persada non grata. They said, don't come back. I said, I love Arizona. I live in Sedona. It's beautiful over there with the red rock. I'm totally fine. I love Arizona. I love Trump. We're very, very fortunate to have somebody who's real, finally, and it's not afraid of the media, or not afraid of anything. He's in, in everybody's face. And, he, and some people are criticizing him because he, he uses Twitter. Hey, the guy's up at three in the morning. He's not, he's not sleeping, he's awake, he's thinking. How can I fix things? How can I make this country better? Making this country better. So, those are why those paintings are there. This is why I am here, and I hope somebody someplace out there hears, what if we lose these freedoms? Please stand up and don't be afraid and have any of these outrageous people or groups ever suppress the real meaning of life. Art is important in schools and dreams. So in closing, I would say, there are leaders and there are people who lead. And I believe that Donald Trump is making a difference and I hope that the world wakes up and sees that. And artists turn their dreams, they actually they turn their dreams into reality so they can have the freedom to live in their imaginations. What if, guys, what if? <laughs>